Okay, in the last lesson, I had you develop um, a thing called lights. Okay, if you're unsure on how to get it back, all you do is file open and open this lights period UPK. Okay, and that has that light bulb in it. I have a few other things in here, a couple lanterns and a couple materials. So just to kind of ignore all that. But in here, what I want to do is go in here and right click. Well, let's do this first. Let's file import. I want lantern three and these two. So I can hold control and highlight a whole bunch of them. I'm going to hit open. It's called lights through under lights, the package. I'm going to call this lantern candle. It's going to ask me what surface I want. I hit OK. Now it's going to go to my uh, different lanterns. So this is the diffuse chant that diffuse map I made. I see what's going on. There we go. I was still in game. <laughs> okay, and this is the EMS one. There we go. So now what I got is this lantern and two textures. Okay, what I'm going to do here is first make a material. So in here, I go new material. And I right click on anywhere in the gray area. Uh, this is going to be called... Lantern Candle. And in Lantern Candle, I want a mesh. I want that actual mesh that I'm going to be using for the preview. That'd be kind of interesting. So in here, I'm going to choose this mesh. And in here, I'm going to hit this button. That'll bring it into the editor. And it's really, really small. That's all right. I'm just going to zoom in. And then I'm going to go back over here. you got to do a whole bunch of back and forth methods here. So I'm going to highlight this one, the diffuse. And then back in here... I'm going to go down here to texture sample, click and drag out with that highlighted. Okay, that pops up. And it looks really dark, but it is that same one. Next, I'm going to choose this one. Go back over here to this window. Drag the texture sample out. So now I have the emissive and the diffuse. Now I'm also going to use the emissive as a spectral too. So here we go. Diffuse. Click and drag the black, which is all the colors combined, over to Diffuse. Immediately you see this. Okay. And this one to Admissive. Ooh. Now I didn't line that texture up at all. That's just how it went on there. Now I'm going to go to Spectral, use that, make it all shiny. Also, once in a while, I'll just kind of do one of these little bad, little bad boys. I'll just drag this down to Custom Lighting. 
And sometimes when you hit a dynamic light, that really, really tweaks it out. So there we go. We have the the whole overall little object, glowing lantern. Okay, so what I could do now is close that out and hit yes. I got one last thing to do before we can actually put it in game. In here, I have to right click on here, go to static mesh editor. And right now it's got the default texture. I want to choose this material right here. Candle, lantern candle. Go to the LOD info, drop this down, go down to elements, go to the material. And sometimes you have to click and drag this out a little bit just to get to it. One more down, and here we go. Schwang. Okay, now later on, if I wanted to take this into ZBrush, I could. I could take the one out of Maya, I'll put it to an OBJ, and then I could make a normal map for it. All kinds of maybe little interesting textures in it. Okay, what else? Oh, if you want, um, like mine in the video, I had actually to shoot it and it would actually move. Well, in order for that to happen, we have to make a collision model for it, which is auto convex collisions, and just hit apply. Okay, and to see that, you click on here. This mesh is actually the one that gets hit on the ground. So I can shoot a bullet right here, and it'll still work. Um, anything that's inside these very, very low poly uh, frame will be bouncing off the walls. Okay, so let's go like this and close this out. And that should be in there. I'm gonna make sure that that all got saved. Should automatically get saved by default. Cool, cool. Alright, now to save the packet, don't forget to save. And don't forget you have to save that on your thumb drive also, just like I reminded you in the light bulb session. So now I have a lantern and I have a light bulb. If you don't have any other lanterns, don't worry about it. Um, if you feel that you want to make a couple more lanterns, or if you want to make a very cool gothic uh, thing that hangs on a wall that holds a candle. That would be extra credit in my book. Alright, so in the next video, we're going to import it into the engine and go over a few things. So I have to have you set up a couple things inside Gears of War where you're going to be doing a lot of work for nothing.